Well, we're here at the workbench. Dave, you know, you're going to talk about some flatfish with two eyes on yeah, the same side, I guess. Exactly. <clears throat> you know, the southern flounder, which is the flounder we're catching in Texas, uh, He's, he's really good to eat. He's delicious, delicious, which is his downfall. He's like the third most caught fish in Texas. Everybody wants to catch a flounder and eat it because, you know, they are really de delicious. They are. They they're are. the master of camouflage. You know, they lay down there on the bottom. They're a flat fish. They got, like you said, both eyeballs on one side of their head so they can get down into the sand or into the mud even or lay on top of oyster bed and they can change their color to match exactly their background. Masters so, of camouflage. Yeah, so whenever, and then they just lay there and wait for something to come by. And, you know, in the fall uh, is when the big, big females come in. Mm -hmm. uh, they're gonna have a big run to the Gulf as it, as it starts to get colder. The first cold front comes through. There'll be a bunch of those big you know, up to 25 inch flounder getting out and, and heading out to the Gulf. So, you know, if you're waiting for them, uh, make sure you're, you know, you got about two weeks, you got a little two week window where they really those coming through hard and big, but uh, otherwise you, you can catch them year round. Um, they like to be on those uh, grassy areas or, and sandy areas and all, all the bays and, and uh, well, inlets and, and estuaries in, in Texas and, make perfect habitat for them. And they'll start at the north, they'll start their run there, and then they'll work their way down to the south as the temperatures start to cool and that bait starts to flush out, like you were saying. Right. And the other thing is, you know, when you're talking about flounder, you're talking about a fish that needs current. You, like yes. you were saying, he lays there waiting yeah, for something he likes to come to have to some so current. that current is key. He likes to have some current, so if, if you're, especially if you're fishing, uh, you know, with bait or, or lures, you know, if you're out there fishing for them instead of gigging, then you really want that water moving really good. If you're if you're wanting to go gig them, the best time to go is at dead low tide, or a little couple, you know, maybe an hour or two before dead low, or low tide when the tide starts flooding back in. Gotcha. Uh, because then they start getting up and active and, and start moving around and you can catch them. We'll talk about it. But first off, if you're going to be fishing for bait, uh, the best thing to do is, to, you know, get maybe some 20 pound leader. Uh, you know, sh big flounders have sharp teeth. But uh, if you're, you know, if you use that kale hook, it does two things. It's, it's a great hook to hook a, a flounder with because of the weird shape of their mouth. Mm -hmm. uh, it'll, it'll catch the corner of their mouth and will keep your leader out of their teeth. Well, uh, and I, and I noticed this, this kale hook has an offset to it. Right. Well, that's, I, that's fairly important too. Yeah, you got to have a little bit because they have that crooked, they have a really crooked face, mm -hmm. you know, <laughs> the, the, and, and on, on all those teeth. So the best bait, and, and you, you put a little uh, uh, split shot on there uh, to, to match whatever the current is doing, but you want to keep that bait, you know, within a 10 or 15 inches of the bottom because that's where he's going to see it. He's and not run, can, he's not running to the top to go grab yeah, the bait. You know, I, I, be I have there. a top water plug up there because yep. if they're in that really shallow water, they will come up and smash a top water I've, plug, which I've is seen awesome that. when it happens. I've seen that. Yeah, it, it's really awesome when it happens. But otherwise, if we're using artificial lures, we're going to be using weighted jigs, something that we can keep down close to the bottom yeah. where these fish are. Uh, all the all the bass assassin, the seed, the die dappers, and this and the sea shads work great. I'm a big fan of the curly shad. I was, I was going to ask. A curly tail really fires up flounder. Uh, they just really love that. So if I, you if you throw that and then the new P and V, I haven't got to use that for flounder fishing yet, but it's made for a flounder I, in my opinion. It I, looks just like a little shrimp or a little bait fish. I like fish. the bright colored tails right. when I'm fishing for flounder. I think that that makes a big difference for myself. Yeah, one of my favorite things to do is get a pompano jig and put a piece of uh, fish bites on it. And that right there, I've caught a ton of fish, of uh, flounders, especially working near inlets, places where a dock and, and there's a boat that's uh, above the, you know, sitting and, you know, stored above it, or even sitting in the water and, and, and it's near an inlet where you got a lot of current yeah, yeah. and it's been washed out where that boat comes in and out and the bot underneath those boats. They'll be right in that they'll little hole. They'll be sitting right in that hole and they're, nope. and they're a really good thing to you do. You want to talk about the gig? Yeah, you know, when you're, the great thing about flounders is, you, you know, they're in that shallow water. You can use a gig and go out there with some underwater lights on your boat or even waiting. This is a, this is an underwater light that's uh, handheld. You put a you put a, a battery in your in your backpack and walk along with with that thing and 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 gig they just gig away. Yeah, they're really really fun really fun night you know for your family as well. You, well, you buddy, can, you, you did can a charter a pontoon boat and go out and gig them. You did a great job talking about the different ways to you take did. care of this. There's so we're gonna go to Bree and see yes. where we're gonna go There's next. There's just never enough time. Never.